And mind you, this guy and I, we weren't in a major relationship, but we definitely dated, you know, mm -hmm. we dated and did a little more than date, but we weren't like exclusive, you know, okay. or anything like that. So, but so, and that wasn't longer. That was maybe two years ago. Okay. So, but prior to him, and I'm going to even count his two years, I've really been single. I've been single. You said why? You said why um, is Pretty Piper, why is Piper um, single? Well, I've been single. I have been single eight years um, after my children's father. And I will not call his name because a lot of people know who he is. Yeah. yeah. I'm not going to say his name. Right, right. Yeah, no, yeah, so, um, you know, so my son's father, you know, when he did what he did to me, that just, you know, he hurt me. And I just, you know, went searching for me. Right. What is it that I want? What is it that I need? What is it that I require from a man? Right. And right. so that brings me to my current situation. Um, well, it's not really a situation anymore, but, you know, this very recent situation with me so <clears throat> it's so funny because I prayed and I now I don't want the people to think that I'm this holier than thou person because I am not you know and I just told you my favorite scripture in the bible is he without sin cast the first stone so I do not judge anyone or anything um so at least I try not to, but I prayed and I asked to God, you know, well, maybe, maybe God, I, you know, that type that I'm used to, um, is not what I need because I'm used to that type. I know what I like to look at. I know what type of man, you know, that I go for with his stature, um, his status in the community, his status with um, his work, you know, maybe I need to try something different because that, that ain't worked out for me. Mm. So clear as day, God told me, okay, well, give, give uh, what you're not used to a chance. So how are you going to know if you don't like it? <laughs> if you've never mm. tried it. Right. So that's exactly what I did. <laughs> that's exactly what I did. And I feel like I made a huge mistake, but you know, I'm grateful for that because I would have known that that's not for me. So I gave it a try and dude's trial period was totally over. It's totally over, but you know, I'm glad that I was able to show him something more than what he's used to so that he'll know his worth. You know, this guy, had two failed marriages and um me I've never been married all my siblings are married and I just turned 40 and I've never been married and so um I'm the only one that's not married everybody else is and so this guy he's been in two failed marriages and after a few months of dating him dating him I told him that I feel like you need to be by yourself, you know, mm -hmm. for a little while, you know, until you figure out what it is that you want, you know, because I personally have been single. I mean, yeah, I have been single for a while. So I know what I want. I know what I'm looking for, but I don't feel like he knew what he wanted. He wouldn't budge when I asked him for, to do certain things. Uh, like he just, he told me he felt like I was trying to change him. Mm -hmm. And maybe in a way, you know, I was just trying to show him something different, you know, but, and he was hella cheap. Like, you can't buy everything that you want from the dollar store. Right, like, right, right. So, so what are you looking for in a man? Because it seems like what you, what, what you were going but for. But see, here's the status. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Mr. Booker, I don't like to profess that. Because, because I feel like if I, like, like you said, everybody's watching, a lot of people will be watching this. So if I'm telling you what it is that I'm looking for, then you're going to come in, you know, with those hidden agendas, at least in my eyes, you know, I need you to come in. I, I want to be able to recognize those things from you, you know, without you already knowing what it is. And then you come in with those things and, and then a few months later, your ass is changing on me. 
I can see that. I can see that. That's <laughs> you know, to, so yeah, they're trying to create this person. Uh, that's right. So, I, I that. so what are you? So, what are, and I, I hate asking women this. I've never asked a woman this, but for the sake of this discussion, okay. What do you bring to a man's life, personally? You. Oh. Well. Well, first of all. I want to be clear and let it be known that I am nobody. I'm not trying to be anyone's mother. My children are 22 and 20 and I have a granddaughter. So I'm not trying to be anyone's mother out here. I'm not trying to change no man, you know, because I can't teach you how to be a man. I taught my sons how to be a man, but not no grown man. So for me, you know, um, I'm bringing you serenity, number one, because I know a man, a black man, I love my black man. I've never dated outside my race, but, and I love my black man. I want that to be clear. 